How you doing everybody? I am Scott Jelnick with the Master Investor Academy and I just wanted to give you a small case study on a slow flip. Um, I found this one to be interesting because it is in pretty bad condition. It's not horrible, but it's pretty bad. But I just wanted to tell you the numbers and run it through it real quick. So this house was an inheritance. I purchased it for $17,000. The owners, there was four sisters who inherited it. They ended up having a ton of judgments and liens, medical bills from the person they inherited it to inherited it from, they ended up having to bring $178 to closing to be able to sell it. So I purchased this home. I borrowed $17,000 when I bought it. My, per, my monthly payment on a five-year mortgage is $378. I have someone on their way right now to do paperwork, somebody who's buying it from me. I just bought this Friday, so this is three days after I bought it. Somebody's coming to purchase this from me right now, completely as is, I haven't done anything, for $49,000 with $2,000 down, and $549 a month, only they're purchasing it for 30 years, and my payment on it is for five years. So I know I try and go over this a lot with you guys, but I want you to understand the magnificent dynamic of this entire process. So I wanna answer a few questions for you. Some people say to me, well, how do you come up with that price? Why would anyone pay $49,000 if you were able to get it for 17,000? And the only thing I can always go back to tell people, I said, you know, you go to Sam's Club and you see a case of water, 36 bottles for 3.99, they're 10 cents a bottle. You go to Subway and buy a sandwich, that same bottle of water is $1.79. How do they get away with selling it for $1.79 and you have this 10 cents at Sam's Club? It's simple, if you don't want it, don't buy it. Go to Sam's Club and buy it. Well, that's the same thing with my houses. If somebody doesn't want to pay 49, they don't have to. If someone doesn't want to pay 89, they don't have to, go somewhere else. Someone is going to pay my asking price. My contractor who's buying this is actually on his way right now and he's gonna buy it as is. He's gonna renovate the entire house and then he's gonna keep it as a rental. It's a win for him because he didn't have the cash to pay for it, and it's a win for me. So I hope this video helps you. I just wanted to give you a short case study on exactly how these slow flip deals work because everybody is constantly always asking me. Um, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Click the like button, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.